guys this is Abby the law student so for today um I will be sharing another recipe and this is one of my favorites and this is very easy and very cheap and I hope you like it here it goes this recipe I've cooked several times and this is my go-to recipe when I want something a little bit fancy but still on the affordable side now the first thing you should do is to heat up your oil this is a little bit gritty because I use this to fry pork. When it reaches the right temperature, you can, or you can put in your fish fillet. This fish fillet is coated with uh, all-purpose flour. Then I dunked in an egg. Then I dunked in uh, what you call this? Um, breadcrumbs. This is flavored with um, garlic powder, pepper, and salt. This fish is cream dory, which you can buy very cheap in grocery stores. It will come with at least three pieces of um, three pieces of fish for just 150 pesos around that price. And with that, you can do at least one or two uh, recipes. For this, I used um, two two pieces of fish so that I'll have um, big pieces like this. Do not overcrowd the pan because it will bring down the temperature of the oil and you won't achieve the crispy uh, coating that you want in fried fish. See that the edges are brown, you can flip it and cook it for another minute or so. This will cook easily because this is fish. Doesn't take too long. While the last batch of fish is cooking, you can prepare your other ingredients for the sweet and sour sauce. So I have carrots, bell peppers, onions, and garlic. That's just what you need. I mean, you can add other vegetables, but that's it for me. And then for the sauce, we have Mama Sita sweet and sour sauce mix, which is dissolved in water. Then saute the garlic and onions. Next up, you can put the bell peppers and the carrots. You don't need to cook them well. It's okay if they have a little crunch. After that, you can put your sweet and sour mamacitas, sweet and sour sauce. Here you go. They've cooked for quite a while. You can now add your sauce. And adding your sauce. It's ideal if you mix it while adding, since I'm adding, I'm cooking it with one hand, I pour it out first, and then mix, just to avoid um, lumps. And then just wait for it to thicken, season it, season it if you want, and it's ready to pour on our fish fillet. of filet on your plate and then put some half of the sweet and sour sauce on top and then put the rest or put a few pieces more before you pour in the rest of the sauce so that each layer will have the sauce that's it kainan